Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Regular Guy Mountain Biking. My name's Gene Arnold, and I am so stoked to introduce to you my brand new race bike build, and it's called Bone Shaker. That's right, my friends. It's a new bike build on Regular Guy Mountain Biking. This one's a hardtail, and I designed this one around racing since I'm going to try to get into racing more and more this season. A lot of you have probably already watched the videos I put up on the pumpkin bike build. That was a frame, a full suspension frame, sent to me by TriFox. I reached back out to TriFox again and said I'd really like to build a race bike, and I was hoping they could send me a frame so I could build up that frame and use it for this racing season. And once again, they stepped up and hooked me up with this absolutely beautiful frame that I'm going to give you all the specs over, as well as all the parts because a lot of these parts were also donated to me for this build by some very awesome companies. So here's the plan. Let's take a look at this bike. Let's take a look at all the parts. Let me tell you a little bit more about why I picked some of these parts and how the bike got built up. And then I'm gonna take you to some ride footage and explain to you exactly what makes this bike so incredible. Because I'm telling you, this bike kicks ass. I am so stoked to be riding it and I, I just can't wait to tell you about it. So let's go to the parts and then we'll get back and uh, get back into some more of the details. The core of Bone Shaker is a Tri-Fox SDY20 carbon fiber hardtail frame. This frame weighs in at a trim two pounds less the seat post, has boost spacing, two water bottle mounts, and all internal routed cables. And the complete bike with all its components comes in at 26 pounds. Now let's go check out the build. The drivetrain consists of the following. SR Suntour Aeon cranks with a 30 tooth chain ring, a Box 1 chain, a Box 1 derailleur, and shifter with a Box 2 cassette. I've had nothing but success with bottom brackets from Wheels Manufacturing, so another Wheels Manufacturing bottom bracket is going to be used for this build. I'll be trying out some new pedals on this build. They're the Loam pedals from Pacific Northwest, and I'll be doing a full review on them soon. The dropper is also from Pacific Northwest, and it's called the Coast. This post is a game changer for me because it combines both dropper and suspension functionality. On top of this dropper seat post is a Tri-Fox carbon fiber seat. The SR Suntour Axon fork is going to be used on this build. A great feature about this fork is how easy it is to adjust the travel. On this build I'm only running 110 millimeters, but on my other builds I've given them a lot more travel. This fork also comes with a remote lockout that's pretty sick and very easy to use. Up top I'm running a Pacific Northwest range stem, Pacific Northwest range bars, a Pacific Northwest loam lever, and I'm also trying out the Pacific Northwest extra large loam grips. There'll be a full review coming out on them soon. My Wahoo Roam is nicely placed in the middle of the cockpit. For brakes, I'm using SRAM levels with a 160 millimeter rotor up front and a 120 millimeter rotor in the back. As for wheels, they're from Bontrager and they're the Covey Comps. And as for tires, I'm using tires from V Tires and they're the Rail Trackers. Now to really make this bike mine, I used my X-Tool D1 laser to engrave a custom stem cap And my wife is cool enough to cut out a decal I designed on her Cricut Maker. So those are all the parts that make up Bone Shaker. And before we go any further, I want to make sure I send another huge shout out to TriFox and everyone else that sent parts in to help me make this build a success. All the links and the thanks to these companies are in the description below. So please take a look at the description, use those links. They're affiliate links, so it also helps the channel. And it just shows a little bit of love back to the companies that have been so amazing to me so I can put together these bikes and show them to you. 
So now let's go talk about how this bike rides. And I'm just floored. I don't think I've ever ridden a bike before that takes literally every ounce of my strength and my power and uses that to propel this bike forward. I'm flying up hills with this thing. The bike's just in insane. You good? All right, buddy. Thank you. It's a hardtail, yes. So there's definitely some things I have to learn about when I ride this bike. Um, you know, there was certainly a learning curve. That's one of the trees I hit. Now that being said, I gotta tell you, once the bike and I became friends and we kind of figured out how to work with each other, I was just hauling. Some things I really want to note about this build that I think are important about the feel and the ride. Obviously, when you saw that seat, the first thing you probably thought of is, ouch, right? Well, you'd be very surprised. You ride differently on a hardtail. I stand and pedal so much more on this bike than I do on any of my other bikes. It's easier to stand and pedal. You don't lose any of your strength and any of your power in the suspension. Even on bikes that have the most amazing suspension systems in the world, they still bob. There's no bobbing. So I stand a lot more. Plus, the Pacific Northwest seat that I have, or rather the Pacific Northwest dropper post that I have on here, has that combination, remember, of dropper and suspension. That really takes the edge off. So you, you use that post and the fact that you stand more, the seat's fine. I have no problem with the way this thing feels. Now, I will be doing follow-up videos on the parts that are on this bike and doing some reviews. I want to cover each of these pieces in more detail, but as a whole, everything feels amazing. I know on a lot of hardtails and race bikes, the, uh, the, the handlebars will be a little bit lower, a little more raked out. Uh, that doesn't work for me with my back. So I love the feel of, again, the Pacific Northwest uh, stem and bars. I like this combination. I use them on a number of my bikes. It just feels good. And though it may look a little high for a bike of this build, for me, it's perfect. And I think the most important part about when you build the bike is making sure that it still feels good for you when you ride it. Okay, it should look cool, but it should feel good. It should feel real good. And you should want to be able to ride it. Those bars, that setup works for me. Man, building your own bike is just so, so cool. I can promise you that whatever bike you build will be the best bike you've ever ridden because you put your blood, sweat, and tears into that bike. You picked out all the parts. You made that bike your own. Two of the best bikes I've ever ridden would be the pumpkin bike and bone shaker. And I love these bikes. I love them. And understand something. I've got a lot of pressure on me when I ride these bikes. I do meetup rides where I've got 15, 20 people that I got to make sure the ride goes over well. I'm using these bikes now for racing. I don't want them to break. I'm really depending on these bikes. So I love the way TriFox is working out. I suggest if you want to build one, maybe take a look at their site. The parts I have on here, top notch. The bikes are holding up great and they're mine. I built them, I customized them, they belong to me, and they're special to me. And I really think you should give building your own bike a try. I, I think you'd love it, and you've got the community here to help you out if you have any questions. We're all going to have your back, so you really should give it a try. Give me a description down below, or rather give me a comment down below in, in the comments. Have you ever built a bike before? If not, what's keeping you from building a bike? Are you nervous? Um, tell me, maybe we can help, because I think you should give it a try. And as always, just let me know what you're thinking in general, because I love talking to you. Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, thanks so much for watching this video. Keep the party on the pedals. You'll be seeing a lot more Bone Shaker in these coming videos, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.